This is Twit. Could you explain what your project is uh, to somebody who only knew that he was doing Floss Weekly 20 minutes ago? <laughs> uh, yeah, sure. So it is, in simple terms, a web-based IRC client and with a what we call a bouncer uh, in IRC terminology. And what that means is that it's running on a server. Your connection to IRC is running on a server so that when you connect from a different machine, you are using the same connection so you can see all of the rooms and the chats that you had opened before and continue those conversations without disconnecting from the IRC server. Right, so that means that I can treat IRC like a chat room that's got history rather than like uh, a, a radio station that I tune into and I miss everything that's gone before. Correct. Yeah, oh, so, so, yeah, <laughs> again. Um, yeah, so, so just like Al said, uh, it's, it's something that runs on a server you own. And, and therefore, if you log in in the morning, you still have access to your session from the day before and you still have your uh, conversations that happen when you were away. So it, it's very similar to how Slack works or you mentioned IRC Cloud. It's very similar to that, but all open source, all free software and maintained by your community instead of a company. Right, right. And so if you restart the client, does it have the sessions that you were running before you restarted it? So is, is it actually logging or is it um, simply a, an IRC client that is running on a server and if I restart it, it forgets everything like uh, my normal IRC client does? No, it so will we'll remember. Need... Oh, sorry, go ahead. Sorry. <laughs> I was going to say, it will still need to reconnect to the IRC servers, um, but it will remember what uh, rooms you had open and I think this isn't in the newest released version, but it will be in the next version. Um, it will load back your previous logs from the channels so you can see them as well. Right. The, the slight distinction is that it, that's when you restart the server, which is uh, usually remote. But if you restart your client on the on the browser, the, the, the tab in your browser or the local client, if you have it pinned to your home screen, um, you will not need to restart everything. Everything is still there. It's a it's a it's a browser tab. So everything everything is there without having to restart everything. Right, right. So um, I, I've I've not actually heard of of your project before. Um, I uh, was actually in a conversation with some um, collaborators yesterday. We were talking about which uh, system we should use for chat for our project, and um, one of them suggested I use IRC Cloud. Uh, I'm already using uh, Riot uh, and Matrix. Um, uh, I've got a. Uh, I, I'm aware of at least a couple of other uh, IRC server-based projects. C could you give us the you know the strengths and weaknesses? Why your project is is the one that we ought to be using at OSI, uh, where which is where I was having the conversation. Uh, yeah, I'll start off with that. So. If we compare to uh, the example you gave of IRC Cloud, um, IRC Cloud is a, a great project um, and has done a lot for IRC. But the one, the two key things about it are that it's hosted uh, by the company. Um, so if you're messaging on it, all your your logs are or can be. Uh, we don't. I don't know for certain what their logging strategy is, but their logs are stored by them, so you can see them again. Um, so some people might not want to to turn that over to a uh, third party. And obviously, if they ever shut down, then you won't have your, your client anymore. The advantage of the lounge is that because it's self-hosted, that means you have control over your data, you have control over how it's run, uh, you control over whether it's run. And obviously, the other thing being it's open source, um, especially for something like the OSI. Uh, open source is obviously quite important. Um, you know, you can contribute if you want, and uh, it, but if not, then even just the idea of the OSI using a project that isn't open source, I'm sure would uh, not make some people happy in the OSI. Yeah, we we try very hard to only use open source tools, but you have to be pragmatic. Uh, of course. You know, sometimes sometimes uh, it's it's far more important for our mission critical tools for us to have a re reliable availability. And that takes priority over an open source tool, but open source tool is our is our second priority uh, for all of these things. So, is is there a hosted version we could use, or if we decide to go for this, have we got to host it ourselves? 
there is no hosted version yet. Um, it's not in the plans because all of us work on the lounge on our free time um, and therefore for free. Um, so we don't have plans for that. But if we get sufficient support, that's not something we could exclude. That way, if you're looking for reliability, um, the best way to is to host it yourself. That way you don't have to rely on a third party company or organization to handle that. And that's, I think that's the key strength uh, that you could use is that you can, you can host it yourself, have your own monitoring, have your own backups, everything is on your end. And, and if something breaks, you're, you're, not, you're not dependent on, depending on another third party company or whatever to, to get it back online. 